to do something um, with spring colors so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be using a like kind of bright orange and a dark purple I was just playing around it kind of like the way it came out it's not very spring as far as like being pastel or anything like that or super daytime at all either it's kind of like a spring glam look so that's what I have for you today. So let's get to this tutorial. So as usual, I'm going to start with my brow. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Brow Pencil in Bangin' Brunette. So next I'm going to do my foundation. So I'm going to spray my face with the Maybelline Master Fix. It works pretty well. So I'm going to spray some of this on my face and then uh, put on some foundation. I just like something for it to stick to, if that makes sense. Take my Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation in the Matte and Poreless uh, in the shade Warm Honey, which is 322. And then just dot this all over my face and blend it out with my Morphe G3. Excuse the brush, it is very dirty. So I'm just gonna dot this everywhere. So it's kind of starting to feel like actual spring here in New York, which is great because um, I need it to be nice for my birthday, which is in two weeks. Holy crap, that is coming by fast. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan to cover up any dark-ish circles. This one is more close to my skin color. I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to move on to something I just bought, but I've used this before. Um, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 25 Medium. So I'm just going to use this to highlight. So this is pretty blended. Um, now I'm going to be using two different powders, a lighter powder and then a powder more towards my skin tone. So I've never used these before. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless pow uh, Foundation Powder in Classic Ivory, the number 120. And it looks like this. And then it also has a little thing where you flip open and then it has a mirror and the little uh, applicator, I guess. So we're not going to use that today. I'm just going to take a flat foundation brush as I do and set my under eyes with this and then take the shade Sun Beige in 310 to set the powder all over, to set the powder, to set the foundation all over my face with a big fluffy brush. Have our base down. We are going to move on to our eyes. So for our eyes, 
guys, we're going to be using, of course, my Morphe 35O palette. You can literally do everything with this palette. We'll kind of just do a light, like, buffed out crease. Um, we're going to stick to the orangey warm tones. I'm going to be using... What did I usually do? Oh, I'm going to be using... It's kind of what I use on an everyday basis, too. So I'm going to be using a combination of this color right here. This one and this olive color. So I'm going to take a Morphe M505, just a big fluffy brush. You've seen it use, you've seen me use it a million times. And I'm just going to dip my brush in all those three colors, and then buff that into the crease. And I'm going to be using shades from the Morphe 35O also, and just some uh, eye drops. Or you can use water, but I'm going to use eye drops for today. So I took this shade right here, this really orange shade, and then this like burnt reddish, but still like orangey tones. I scraped some of both of those out and mixed them. And I'm going to just take this flat eyeliner brush. If you have an angled liner brush, you can use that too. I don't have a clean one right now. And I'm going to dip my brush to wet it a little bit, just on the tip. And then go into the orange and create a wing. This is obviously going to be a bold wing, so don't be afraid to really wing it out if that's the look you're going for. Then I'm going to draw my line kind of uh, almost all the way, leaving like the one third like all out. Uh, you don't really need to. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to clean up the edges with some concealer and a little barish. from a wet and wild palette um this is probably pretty old so i don't know if you will still be able to find it but it's in the shade lust it's the number 248 it looks like this and i guess it came with a brush but we're gonna be using this purple right here with a shade of brush or underneath our lower lashes Morphe 35O and take the two shades right here. This one and this one that I use to like highlight my face normally. I'm gonna use that for our uh I our tear depth area. And then kind of I like to blend it with the like blend it into that purple. This is another flat brush. I'm going to Take those same colors and highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to put some mascara on, which is also going to prep our top lashes for some falsies. You can skip the falsies if you'd like or if you're not comfortable wearing them, um, but I'm going to put them on because I like the extra drama that it gives. So this is what the look looks like with just um, some mascara and then I'm going to put on some Ardell Wispies, some black Wispies because uh, that's how I like it I like more drama I'm 
and put in the other one. So this one's officially like gone. Um, so this is the look with the lashes. And now we're just gonna do a uh, bronzing of our face and highlighter and a lip. Per usual, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in a medium deep. Uh, my boyfriend will kiss my forehead and then lick his lips, I guess. And then, like, it tastes like chocolate on my. Going back to those uh, two colors to highlight with the black foundation brush, I want to get a fan brush um, and try that out. Now I'm going to be using this shade that we used before um, in our crease with the two others. I'm going to use just that one on a blush brush. And I'm going to use that as a blush. I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Ruffle Trim. Yep. Back to our Maybelline Master Fix. you guys enjoyed watching me create this very spring uh, kind of dramatic eye I would totally wear this out but I am also comfortable wearing this amount of makeup on a regular so it's up to you guys please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to see more of me and follow my makeup Instagram page it's Lauren Lioness I think that's all I have to say. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.